Uh, I'm Nathan and Flowers at Shagan. Everybody calls me Flowers and I'm with the Homeless Union. So my name is Felix Guzman. I am part of the Homeless Union and uh, also the Civil Rights Union. The Homeless Union uh, does a lot of work around policy work to assure that everyone in New York State uh, will be able to have a home. How do you cure homelessness for people in permanent homes? And the Civil Rights Union, they, are, uh, they do a lot of work around uh, justice involvement and uh, those uh, folks that have justice involvement. Hey, my name is Jacinta Erno. So I'm part of the Civil Rights Union. I'd like to just take a moment to acknowledge uh, world news and the current events that's happening around us. Say her name, say his name, and in honor of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor. Um, that was a moment in my life that I really had to reevaluate what am I doing to either make change or be the change. I'm Asia Betancourt. I'm part of the Users Union. Myself having lived experience at a very young age and being able to still be here, that I didn't overdose, that I'm still alive, and that I'm still able to help the next one, is what it's all about. Meeting them where they're at, not leaving them there ever. Yeah, my name is Will Robinson. I represent the Users Union. So we advocate for the people who can advocate for themselves. In other words, for the people that use drugs, we advocate for them. We go up to Albany, 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 try to get the legislature to change some laws so this way we can save some lives. That's the bottom line, We're trying to save lives. You know? That's the main thing about local. It helps save lives. It's extremely important for local to have a permanent residence because it allows people the uh, ability to have somewhere that they know they can go. I think it's important for everyone to have a permanent home and Vocal does the work to actually assure that um, that's a possibility. A permanent home because it's a, we're, we're, we're the voice, we're the voice for the community. We all know that black and brown people are absolutely singled out, called out. We're at a place where we're finally talking about it. Our skin color is not a crime and as a mother and looking and listening to George Floyd, he called for his mom. That to me was a call of action, a summons. I have been doing this work for over 30, 35 years. And when I came to Vocal, I said, I felt like I was home. Vocal has helped me realize that it's not over. We're working in partnership, not in opposition. We're working in um, solidarity to continue uh, to be the conduit of change. I'm a member leader and what they've done for me has been um, revolutionary in my life, evolutionary for me. I'm a lot of labels in society, formerly incarcerated, formerly homeless, uh, addict and alcoholic, uh, and uh, mentally ill. I'm all of those, but when I am part of the vocal actions, I am just, I'm a leader, a member, and uh, I get a chance to shine and, um, from a place of not ego, but love. I am proud of myself for where I am and uh, for the ability to represent community in these spaces. And I, I hold those uh, identities um, proudly.